thank you rindam firstly uh, good morning coach uh, coaches uh, so first of all coach khalid many many congratulations on being appointed as the first indian coach of an isl club so coach my first question is to, as i mentioned earlier you become the first indian coach who lead an isl team so tell us about the challenges going into the season you are yeah, talking about this yeah thank you and second thing is uh, it is a big challenge for us it is a big challenge for us we are playing tomorrow with a good team they have quality players so it is a big challenge not to take this match lightly to focus and think positive okay so coach uh, my first my second question to you would be like you know north east united has never defeated bengaluru during the league stages of the fixture in eight matches you have four defeats and four losses look four defeats and four draws so do you think you guys can break the jinx tomorrow and what are your feelings ahead of tomorrow's match as i said tomorrow we are playing with good team we don't think about past thinking about tomorrow we are playing with good team we have to be focused from first minute to the end and give your best then everything will be fine great so coach my final question to you like almost all the teams have announced their captains for this season but we haven't heard any we haven't heard anything from north east united so who are going to be your captains for this season yeah we have already announced we have told uh, uh, we already announced but uh, i don't know we didn't get it we have four captains this season subhashish is there kadeko khasa and harna okay Great. So, thank you, Coach, for answering the questions. Now, I have the final question for Coach Allison. Coach, uh, can you please give us a squad update? Is there any injury concerns going into tomorrow's match? Uh, no injury. Everyone is fit and ready for tomorrow's game. Uh, thank you, Coaches. Good luck for tomorrow's game. Thank you. Bonsoir <coughs> from IFWC. You can. Quick questions. Yeah, thank you. Uh, an audible clearly. Okay. Yes, I see audible. Okay, good morning, uh, Coach. Good morning, Alison, sir. Uh, I have two questions. Uh, the first one is, uh, how strongly, Coach? How strongly do you rate your squad this season? And uh, do you expect a top three finish from the lads? And uh, what can the fans expect from the team this season? talking about this we never there is uh, expectation is high for this year definitely we have to do well and second thing we are thinking about this bangalore team tomorrow we need a good start because if we get good start it will be good for us we have to be prepared defensively we have to be strong attacking we have to be sharp we must play as a team help each other Right. Thank you. I have one more question. Uh, I, I think uh, Alison sir can also answer this one as well because he has been in the Lajong yacht, yacht setup as well. So what I want to know is uh, your takes on the four foreigners rule this season, and uh, you have a good Indian squad as well. So what's your take on it? Yeah, I think everyone they are very professional and they are very promising and very good players. And yeah, and I hope that they, they are ready and focused and. I'm hundred percent sure that they'll give their best tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Shrijan, you can ask your question next. Uh, hi, coach. Uh, hi, Alison. Hi, Khalid, sir. Uh, am I audible? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, my first question to uh, both of you would be. Uh, a continuation of what uh, the previous uh, vasav asked uh, is that your khalid sir you are the only coach in isl who has experience of playing with just four foreigners you know be it in the i league also you've managed that so do you think that will give you a slight advantage over the other coaches you know having that experience of managing four plus seven combination before and my second question would be uh, it's again the start of a new season and you start the game against uh, bengaluru fc you know uh, a very strong opponent how do you feel playing bengaluru right off at the start yes 
<clears throat> yeah, like you said, like coach said, like in winning, like uh, we are there, you know, against Bengaluru, it's a good team, you know that. And we all have to go there and give our best, be focused, like show character. And yes, and if we give our best, then success will come. Uh, regarding the experience of having played with just four foreigners before, uh, do you think that will help you, sir, Khalid, sir? Yes, talking about this, no, it is a past. You never think about past. Talking about present year, all the teams are in good level. They have quality foreigner, Indian also now. Nowadays, since three years, they are improving. All Indian boys, they are doing good. Good. So, we never think about past. We have to be prepared, think about our own game, especially this game. Then, uh, focus on our duty only. Uh, my last question to you would be, sir, uh, you've seen some of your best performers of last season leave the squad this season uh, due to various transfers they made. Do you think you have the MPL quality in your side to overcome the players, the gap that those players left? Talking about this, uh, as a player, see, they have to work hard. If you work hard, you will get what you want. And talking about quality, there is no difference between any player who is doing good, who work hard, they will get the result. That is for sure. Thank you, sir. Best of luck for the season. Thank you. Uh, Snehal from Pitch, you can go next. Uh, good morning, sir. good morning, coaches. My question, uh, Khalid, sir. As as you have described as you have described ki your team has good balance with young as well as experienced experienced players, those who have played earlier at the Union Indian soil. So what do you expect? Whom will whom will you can choose as your main target man among the ele first eleven? See, we're talking about this, everybody talking about the practice we have done one since one month. Everybody is working hard. Hmm. So, there will be one target man, maybe with two. We still not decided. We we'll decided about it in the evening today. Okay. okay. We'll have a meeting. Then we'll decide. But definitely, Brown is there. We have Matthias. Even the Indian boys that are doing good. William, Suhair, Mapoi. Okay. Thank so you, we'll sir. And all the best for the season. Thank you. Uh, Abdul Dafra, you can go next. Hello. <clears throat> Am I audible? Yes, yes. Yeah, good morning. Uh, yeah, uh, coach, uh, after the success last year, so there will be a lot of expectations. So how, how do you see to, you know, to continue this form and to you know the expectations of the fans there will be huge expectation from you so how do you see this talking about it it is only one thing we have to work hard and we have to work more harder than last year because as you said the expectation will be high so without working hard you cannot do anything so this is our main motto will be working you have to work harder than last year and okay. play as a team Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my second question will be like you have proved to be one of the most successful uh, Indian coaches so far. So now the experts say that you know your success has indicated the development of Indian football. So now many youngsters uh, they look up to you to be you know coaches in future. So how do you see this and what is your message for these youngsters who really wanted to be uh, football coaches? Talking about it, first of all, it is yes, what you have said. Talking about last year, whatever we have got because of the players. And second thing about Indian coaches, yes, I believe they can do because they have experience. So if they give them more chances, definitely they would do good. And talking about the advice, I want to give yes, work hard and believe in yourself, do confidently. Okay. So uh, my third question will be like, there is always a debate about, you know, foreigners and Indian coaches. So you being an Indian coach, so what are your advantages 
to manage the team so talking about this i never come back he is a coach is a coach with the indian or foreigner but you have to give your best work hard that is the main thing okay thank you thank you coach and good luck thank you uh i cannot see anyone else raising their hands does if anyone has any question please let me know uh, i have a final question are yeah yes please go ahead so uh, coach we heard uh, can you please give us an update on emmanuel is he with the squad or is he ruled out for the season <laughs> emmanuel we have to take another mri second mri for him he will be fine let's see after taking second mri then we have will decide <coughs> okay thank you coach uh rajesh you can go next uh, good morning coach uh, am i audible Yes, are in them am i audible yeah okay uh coach my question is uh, most of the squads they bring in a lot of new foreigners and a lot of new foreigners goes out so none of the uh, squads they have a settled uh, team success for mon bagan or one or two teams so does it make make it difficult for you as a coach to plan for the opposition because you never know what sort of a uh, a uh, team uh, bfc going to turn up uh, with the quality of the new foreigners they have does that make your job difficult because there are so many in and out of the teams yeah like the first game you know it's always a challenge for every team but we just need to go up there with confidence you know and uh, be prepared in everything in attacking defending and set piece yeah, but the main thing is to work as a team and give your best effort for the 90 minutes and in the 90 minutes plus and the result will come if you work out and play as a team thank you polinda you can go next Polinda could you please unmute yourself are uh, you on mute uh, first of all i will say good luck uh, because you are attached with the northeast as usual as uh, being the guwahati franchise team we have more of expectations the last couple of years with you were with the mostly the academy junior players so you knows better than the others you are uh, you have more responsibility this time Uh, being the our countryman you knows the indian football very much well uh, how you'll face the coming season because in very first match you will be facing bengaluru a strong team and what will be your in the for can you repeat the question please hello hello can you repeat the question yeah khalid bhai you have a lot of experiences regarding the junior footballs footballers of india mostly the indian footballers because last couple of years you played in india and you are nurturing them so along with the foreigners the newcomers and the rest who are from your junior academy and uh, being the last couple of years last season was not so good uh, during the uh, whatever you played last time seen in ninth position but your starting was very good when the foreigner coach was there but later what happens we have seen from uh, quarter final onwards the team loses due to the injury lot of injuries and lot of contact of the players with the balls uh i don't know what is the reason you will be better knowing them because you were the coach you know the indian footballers north eastern footballers we being the this part of the country we have more expectation this time uh, for you and your colleagues so very in very first match you will be facing the bengaluru fc like strong team uh, best of good luck for that and what will be your Uh, strategy this time i will not say that you will be playing 4 to 4 or 4 4 to but what will be your strategy 
just uh, talking about tomorrow's match yes we are playing with good team they have quality indian player experience they have good foreigners so we have to be working hard from defending we have to be very strong attacking also we have to be very strong and just we go there we must believe in ourselves work hard and get think positive yeah uh, i think your goal there will be subhashish no doubtly but there are also upcoming uh, goalkeepers from assam also you know pragyan sundar gogoi and other player also you will make them prepare for the games also i don't know whether they are ready or not but it depends upon you and your assistants so uh, tomorrow beginning is the hard match it is good because if you pay, pay the uh, you first hard match then you will be uh, you will be able to get the other teams is it not so yes. this time we have not seen but the mostly the teams have practiced in goa goa is the hub of the indian football you know perhaps once it was kolkata now still kolkata remains but most of all you have to face the guanese footballer i mean the portuguese footballers who have play who have practiced in their own cell soil is it not you are practicing yeah. their best of good luck for that uh, we want uh, being the indian footballer uh, you you are like our indian footballer Thank you. i don't think you are from uh, outside best of good luck for that from your colleagues also that i want to say thank you thank you so much thank you ananda thank you ananda yeah uh, snehal if you have any question just Yes, uh, my question is to Khalid, Khalid sir. Uh, as we all know that due to this pandemic situation, which we are facing from the very last year, players are playing in field where no audiences are are present. So, what what do you think players will how how much player will try to improve and how will they get their confidence if no supporters are present? Talking about this, we cannot do. It is out of control. Oh, you yeah. have to do it. Last year we have done it. We played without fan. This year we are playing without fan. We we'll hope next year fan will come. So there is no excuse. We have to do. There is only one option: go there and play. Think positive. Uh, my second question is that the. Uh, do you think that this type of situation will affect the players as they are not getting the maximum support and they. then what will they how will they boost their confidence if no audience are pre present at the stadium okay but we cannot do anything because they, we have to play without fan so this is only one solution we have to go with it so maybe next year we'll hope fan will come but it is not affecting any player they know that this situation is like that next year we will improve thank you sir thank you Okay, Arun. Uh, so you. one last question we will take from Baswar. Ah, uh, then we'll close. Get this close. Ah, uh, sorry for the delay, sir. Uh, one last question. That is, tomorrow next match is against BFC. So talking about that match, what's your plans to stop Chetri, Sunil Chetri, and uh, the BFC attack? Talking about uh, BFC, they, they have, as I said, they have good players. And talking about uh, Sunil Yes, he's uh, one of the best player in India. We have, and uh, talking about they have good goalkeeper, defense line is good. So all the player who's going to play, they are good. And uh, no doubt they have also the player Sunil Chetri is there. He is playing. We are so proud of him. So talking about them, they are totally. goalkeeper to attack and defense also they have strong so overall they are good team we cannot take them lightly at all okay uh thank you coach thank you uh, alison and thank you everyone for attending the press conference we shall call it an end and thank you everyone for joining bhartiya football se judi sabhi khabron ke liye subscribe kare india footy ko 
और बेल आइकॉन दबाना ना भूलें